Hello, my name is Victoria King and today I will be discussing jellyfish with you. Have you ever heard about jellyfish being immortal? According to bioinformation discovery at the interface of physical and biological sciences, a common species of jellyfish known as Turritopsis dorni is one of the known reported organisms that can revert its life cycle to the polyp stage even after becoming sexually mature. There are many unique qualities of jellyfish that set them apart from their undersea neighbors. We will, be, we will be discussing the topics of the life cycle, reproduction, and immortality of a jellyfish. You will come to see how extraordinary these creatures really are. We've all seen a jellyfish at the beach or at the aquarium, but how exactly did they come to be? They can adapt to their environment rapidly. I will be showing you a photo of a life cycle to the jellyfish. The first stage of the life cycle is called planula. Planula is as small as a plankton and will float around until it is grounded on something solid like a rock or a shell. It will then attach itself to its chosen surface and transform into the next stage, being a polyp. A polyp is like a small sea anemone and catches its prey with its tentacles sticking up in the water. The Virginia Institute of Marine Science states that when conditions are poor, the polyp can transform and shrink into a small dome-shaped cyst known as podocysts. However, when the environmental conditions such as temperature are met, they can grow back into the polyp formation and continue the cycle. This can take up to days, even years to decades, as stated by the National Science Foundation. Polyps can also clone themselves and will look like a chain of polyps attached to one another. When ready, these polyps will release from the chain and freely swim in the ocean. These little floating organisms are called an ephra, which is the next stage which will then lead to the final stage being medusa. Medusa are adult jellyfish and contain the well-known umbrella shape from what we see at the beach or at the aquarium. Medusa is the stage where reproduction typically occurs. Reproduction can happen two different ways. Virginia Institute of Marine Science states jellyfish reproduce sexually with sperm fertilizing eggs and asexually by cloning themselves. Asexual reproduction with jellyfish occurs with budding. Budding is when a polyp grows to a certain size, approximately one centimeter long. A bud always develops on the lower part of the body, according to Reproductive and Developmental Strategies, published in 2018. As the bud overturns, a jellyfish is formed. The part of the bud that attaches to the hard surface, the basal disc, develops. The bud then pinches off from the jellyfish. This reproduction process takes up to three days. Sexual reproduction occurs in the medusa stage. Medusae, plural for medusa, generate eggs and sperm. These creatures release the eggs and sperm into the water and other species. They spawn from their mouths. The fertilized eggs then transform into planulae, plural for planula. With all this in mind, there is one species known as Turritopsis dorni, also known as the immortal jellyfish, that, also, that almost makes reproduction obsolete. On November 28th of 2012, Nathaniel Rich wrote an article in the New York Times called Can a Jellyfish Unlock the Secret of Immortality? He explained that this scientific discovery was revealed in 1988 by a German marine biology student with the name of Christian Sommer. He was in his early 20s and discovered these jellyfish in the waters of Portofino, Italy. At the time, Summer was studying and orchestrating research on small invertebrates called hydrosomes. These organisms take after a jellyfish or a soft coral. These Summer, I mean, Summer would snorkel and would examine the ocean floor with hydrosomes with plankton nets. Among the many hydrosomes found came what is known as Turritopsis dorni more commonly known as the immortal jellyfish. The immortal jellyfish is the only known animal to undergo trans differentiation. 
This is when the Medusa jellyfish reverts back into being a polyp, defining itself as the only immortal organism in the animal kingdom. Incredibly, this process never ends, suggesting that jellyfish have outlived dinosaurs. These organisms are biologically immortal. Today, I discuss the unique facets of jellyfish by talking about their life cycle, reproduction, and immortality. The next time someone asks, do you know any fun facts? You can tell them, have you ever heard of an immortal jellyfish? They will most likely say no, and then you may share the bit of information I discussed with you all today. Hope you have a great day.